The director of controversial documentary The Red Pill is in Australia to promote her film, which has sparked protests and been banned by Australian cinemas for being anti-women. But Cassie J claims that she was a feminist who changed her views on gender equality while making the film about men's rights movement. We have a big hole in the area of compassion for boys and men. It's time for us to quit apologizing for being for men's rights. It's time for us to quit apologizing for being men. I think I agree with everything you said, but there's, there's still some kind of unsettling doubt. The red pill is about looking at these issues in an honest way, even when it's uncomfortable. The documentary has been slammed by women's groups as misogynist propaganda. And Cassie J joins us now. Thanks for being with us, Cassie. There seems to be two issues here. There is the issue of the film's content that some disagree with, and then there's the issue of freedom of speech. So let's deal with, with that. Are you dismayed that, that some people won't be able to see the film and make up their own minds because of the protests, specifically here in Australia? Absolutely. I, I think people need to see the film in order to have an opinion about the film. And unfortunately in Australia we've had so many screenings pulled from theatres that it's preventing Australians from being able to see the film for themselves. Yeah, which, you know, as you say, sort of restricts the conversation that we're able to have around this. Um, now on the content of the film, um, Cassie, I mean, I think it's really I interesting and it's important probably to highlight some of the issues that men are facing in the modern world that they feel are, you know, really holding them back or getting them down. But, but can I ask you this? Um, if you wanted to make a film about the issues facing the modern man, why did you have to focus on the views of these extreme misogynists of uh, the men's right movement, people like Paul Elam? Why do you highlight men's issues by promoting men who minimise women's issues? Well, you have to see the film to see why I interviewed Paul Elam because I had been a feminist of about 10 years before making the Red Pill movie and I all my previous work was about women's issues or gender uh, LGBT rights, gay marriage, that sort of thing. I've always been interested in gender politics. And I came across Paul Elam's writings on voiceformen.com and I was shocked and appalled and offended as a feminist woman. And so I decided to make a film about a voice for men and the men's rights movement in you know the large scope of that because no one had ever made a film about the men's rights movement before and so we interview uh, I interviewed 44 different people for this film feminists and men's rights activists and you know it's a very complicated uh, topic when it, looking it, at it men's is issues. you're absolutely right but mm -hmm. it just seems to me that you don't really question their views in the did film did you see the film well, we, we saw as much as we could because your publicist wouldn't send us the full thing. I sent, but, I sent you the, I sent you the screener link yeah, actually to the full night. film. Uh, but so we watched as much as we could, yeah. But but you could also buy the film on Google Play, no, Vimeo, and, and so we, we Amazon tried to Prime. do anyway, that. And we be couldn't. that as it may, um, you know, it, it just seems from what I have seen of the film, there's not a lot of questioning of some of their views. That's all. Yes, there is. <laughs> Absolutely. If you've seen the film, you would see <laughs> the questions that I asked and their answers. And and this film is not propaganda. I'm not promoting any kind of view that the viewers should take away. Uh, it's simply a journey looking at what men's rights activists have to say, what the feminist rebuttal is, and the audience is able to make up their own mind. Well, just on Paul Elam and about the questions that you, you, you asked him, did you ask him about his writings where he had encouraged people to go out and bash women? Yes, or about I did ask his him about all of that. But was that included in, in the film and what did there, he say yes, about it that? Is. And did, yes. you, did you agree with, with, with his original writings on that? I do not agree with his approach and his kind of provocateur approach to these issues but at the same time the the way that he uh, tries to get people to listen is by offending them to get them to read his website and you know ironically enough that's what got me to make the film was mm. uh, I was offended by him and so mm. I looked deeper I went down the rabbit hole and that's the red pill movie yeah well I mean we've done a lot of reading around Paul Elam over the years uh, in fact we've interviewed Paul Elam and there's no denying that a lot of what he says is is deeply misogynist my, my, my concern Cassie is just is, is, is it that in setting up these guys as the spokesman for the issues that men face, we, we promote an opposition between men 
and feminism that's counterproductive to the genders working together to solve everyone's problems. My film looks at what men's rights activists have to say, all the different voices and approaches to this conversation, and what feminists have to say, and it's just allowing the viewers to make up their own mind. I think we have to have this conversation about what, what is going on for men in family courts and male disposability and falling behind in education and paternity rights and I all of these totally things. I totally agree that they are all conversations worth having. Why not have them with regular men, not guys who are in charge of the most misogynistic, anti-woman, anti-feminist organizations in the world? I interviewed Dr. Warren Farrell, who is very even-minded. I also interviewed uh, Mark Angelucci, an attorney who works on behalf of men's issues. I interviewed Fred Hayward, who is a father who lost his custody of his son. Uh, I, I interviewed plenty of very sound-minded people mm. in the film, men's rights activists. Uh, Paul Elam is certainly one of the most, uh, you know, eccentric uh, voices in the movement. Sure. And I, of course, have to show him. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Cassie, why did you decide to renounce um, your feminism after this and say that you're not a feminist anymore? Well, you have to see the film to see uh, what perhaps, led me but, down but there. For all the people that haven't seen the film, yes. can you just explain why you I were not feminism. after just equality? Because isn't that what feminism is? Just, just well, equality. Well, I am for gender equality. I absolutely care about women's issues and girls being empowered full-handedly. That is my innate passion in life, was looking into women's issues. That's why I spent 10 yes. years making films about women's issues, and I still hold true to that. But feminism is an ideology that really wants to keep the blinders on just looking at women and girls' issues and blaming men for women and girls' problems. And they don't look at male victims, and I, I think we need to look at male victims if we're talking about gender equality. Of course. Sure. I mean, I think you could be feminist and still um, you know, look at men's problems. I mean, you're, you're talking about a very very, very small slice of feminism that's got blinders on. It's like saying all feminists are like, you know, it's like saying all women who are feminists are like um, the men's rights movements representing all men. Feminism does blame men by the use of the word patriarchy to blame men for all the ills of the world. So feminism even blames mm. men for their own issues, blaming it on patriarchy. So it's the fault of men. And it's a way to dismiss right. men's yeah, issues by blaming men for their own problems. Patriarchy. I don't think it's inherently blameful. But anyway, all right, that, Cassie that, J. it's an interesting discussion. It's a really interesting discussion, Cassie. Thank you and, for being um, with us. I would sorry. like to say I'm for gender equality. I'm for women's rights and men's rights now. And I'm not a men's rights activist. And the film was not funded by MRAs. That is a lie that's being okay. perpetuated right. by all Australian right, media. TheRedPillMovie.com. All right, terrific. Thank yeah, you. I mean, you know, well worth viewing. Yeah, if you can get on to yeah. to see it, which we haven't been able to on several several occasions. All right.